Bean in the Garden. Bean Takes a Walk by Anne Bevins and Matthew Ethan Gray. One sunny day, Bean decided to take a walk around the garden. He packed his favorite things his number three racing car, his butterfly yo yo, and his favorite comic book, The Amazing Pickle Number One. Then he said goodbye to his mother and set out on an adventure. Not far from home, Bean met his neighbor, Mrs. Berg, coming back from the store. Do you like my new teapot? she asked. Bean nodded and said, I bet it makes a fantastic whistle when the tea is ready. I don't quite know, Mrs. Berg replied. I'm all out of tea. I'll have to borrow some chamomile from Miss Tots, but she lives all the way on the other side of the wildflower forest. Mrs. Berg looked very sad. Bean wanted to cheer her up, so he said, I can get the tea for you, Mrs. Berg. I'm on an adventure. Mrs. Berg smiled. That would be wonderful, she said. Then Mrs. Berg reached into her handbag and took out a shiny stone. It was red and blue and green all swirled up together. Bean thought it was the prettiest stone he had ever seen. Mrs. Berg handed the stone to Bean and said, Give this to Miss Tots for her rock garden. In return, she'll give you some chamomile. When you get back, we'll find out together what sort of whistle my new teapot makes. Bean took the beautiful stone and put it in his backpack, along with his number three racing car, his butterfly yo yo, and his comic book. Then he waved to Mrs. Berg and set off for the wildflower forest, where green stems grew tall like tree trunks with colorful flowers high above. When he reached the end of the forest, Bean climbed the fence and started along the path. A little while later, a pea popped out from behind a daisy. Hello, little pea, Bean said, but the pea did not answer. He held a toy car in his hands. It had a three painted on the side. That's a nice car, Bean said. I have one just like it in my backpack. With that, Bean continued on his way to Mrs. Tot's house. Bean climbed over a fallen stem and continued along the path. A little while later, two peas popped out from behind a dandelion. The first pea still held the toy car. The second pea held a butterfly yo-yo. Oh, hello, Bean said. It's you again. Is this your sister? That's a nice yo-yo you have. I have one just like it in my backpack. With that, Bean continued on his way to Miss Tot's house. Bean took a break in a patch of sunlight. When he felt rested, he continued along the path. A little while later, three peas popped out from behind a clump of buttercups. The first pea still held the toy car, and the second held the yo-yo. The third pea held a comic book. Oh, hello, Bean said. I see you have another brother, and you have your own copy of The Amazing Pickle Number 1. I have one just like it in my backpack. With that, Bean continued on his way to Miss Tot's house. At last, Bean reached the other side of the wildflower forest and climbed the fence into Miss Tot's backyard. Hello, Bean, Miss Tot's called. Hello, Miss Tot's, Bean replied. I brought you a pretty stone for your rock garden. Bean opened his backpack and looked inside, but it was empty, and there was a hole in the bottom. Oh no, he cried, what happened to the stone and my number three car? Where is my yo-yo in the amazing pickle number one? Just then, the three peas arrived, carrying their toys. Bean scratched his head and smiled. Those are my things, he said. You were trying to give them back to me, weren't you? The peas quivered with laughter, then dropped Bean's toys one by one at his feet. But how will I pay Miss Tots for the chamomile, Bean sighed. I lost the pretty stone Mrs. Berg gave me. One of the peas came forward and held out the shiny stone. Bean grinned. Oh, you found that too. Thank you, thank you. Miss Tots took the beautiful stone and put it in her rock garden. Then she gave Bean some chamomile in a sturdy shopping bag. He nestled his number three car, his butterfly yo-yo, and his favorite comic book among the flowers. Then Bean and the three peas made their way back through the wildflower forest to Mrs. Berg's house, where they drank chamomile tea and listened to her new teapot's fantastic whistle. 
If you liked this video, click the button to subscribe to our channel.